Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration that I use to talk about density. See, this is a one liter bottle, has what appears to be just one clear liquid inside of it, some white beads, some blue beads that are floating there in the middle. And so what I do is I take this and shake it up real well for my students. And once you shake it up, you'll notice that the blue beads are going to settle onto the bottom. The white beads are going to rise to the top. So definitely we know the blue beads are more dense. The white beads are less dense, but you notice too that this fluid is no longer nice and clear and transparent. It looks kind of cloudy. And so you see then, all right, right off the bat, the blue beads start to rise and the white beads start to fall. And I'll put a little time lapse on this so you won't have to watch it for too terribly long, but it takes maybe 30 seconds. <music> that we've given this a few seconds everything is settled back like we had at the beginning and you see the white floating on top of the blue and so things aren't as they appeared at first really we have two liquids inside of this bottle we have isopropanol or rubbing alcohol on top and salt water on the bottom and when it was all mixed together the white beads were less dense than that mixture they floated and the blue beads were more dense so they sank to the bottom well now that it's separated the isopropanol is on top. The white beads are a little more dense than that, so they're here in the middle. The blue beads are more dense than the white beads, so they're underneath that. Okay, but the blue beads are less dense than the salt water, so they float on top of that. So if you found this interesting, I'll put a link down in the description on where I got my density bottle from.